Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I am super excited because I'm going to show you how I season uh, my food or prepare my food using my iPhone and you know, looking down onto my food. Now, one of the things that a lot of people have written me about on my previous video is, how do I shoot with my iPhone or my, just my phone? And yes, you can. Right now, I'm using my DSLR to shoot myself telling you this, but I don't have to use that camera at all. As long as I have this camera, I can move it anywhere I want. Of course, I created my little, you know, shoot from above, if you want to call it contraption, and I have a video on that as well. Um, now I have the camera set up and running my phone, and it's already recording, and I have this set up in the perfect spot so that I can make sure that I have, you know, the perfect symmetry here. So one of the things that I like to do a lot when I create a video is show people the ingredient. In this case, for example, I'm gonna start with, and I don't do it with every single ingredient. I like to do it with Goya, for example, because Goya is an adobo and it's the one that we Latin people love to use. So you can make adobo by another adobo brand, but we really do prefer Goya, so this one will have like a star in this video, right? So it'll be a star in the video. So normally I have my way of starting foods. I like to always go with, you know, my lime. And because I don't wanna feature this lime juice, I'm not gonna, you know, put it on there, but this is capturing it, right? So I don't have to worry about it. My oregano, and it is Goya, but the adobo is a lot more important for it to be Goya. So here you go, a nice amount of oregano. I have this garlic, I love this brand of garlic. I don't have any kind of contract with them, but I love it. So what I do is, and I like to take a couple takes, just in case there's glare and it doesn't ruin my shot. And when I'm ready, I open it up, I do my smidge, whatever amount I want, and that's all. Right, so I've done these three. I'm going to use Sazon Goya. This is culantro y achiote, so this is like another seasoning from Goya, and I want people to use this one. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Different versions. And like sometimes I have a shaky hand, so that's why I like to make sure that I do it, you know, more than one time. And then now I open it and I put it in here. And a lot of this will probably be sped up or cut a lot. Now I'm gonna use my Goya. And here we go. It's a lot, <laughs> it's a lot. Okay, and now I'm gonna be super careful because I'm shooting from above that whenever I'm stirring this now that I don't move this bowl too much and it will move. Just make sure that it doesn't move so much that then now you have something that's completely out of the picture. So I have this imaginary um, thing where I feel like, okay, something's holding down this and I'm like just in my mind holding it down, holding it down in the same spot. And then later I'm actually going to cook this Instead of using my stove top that I've been using for this, I'm actually gonna cook it back there so that you can see how I'm going to set up the phone on a tripod um, and get different angles with the same phone. So all of this is gonna be with the same phone. You're not gonna need any extra equipment other than a stand for your phone and your phone. Um, I don't waste any food, so I don't do extra shoots for this or extra shoot you know, for uh, pictures, uh, extra food for pictures, I mean. I do, this is our dinner. I I don't, I don't believe in just making a recipe just to make the recipe. I make a recipe for dinner or for lunch and that is my episode. So that way I'm not wasting food and we're all eating things that we actually enjoy in the family. Okay, so I'll see you guys in cuatro horas, four hours. Bye. It's been over four hours now, or probably about four hours since I seasoned my pork and I'm ready to shoot it. Now, something that I normally do is I set up everything, I put in the oil so it's ready already and I'm going to start focusing on it. So right now I'm recording it here, so I'm gonna show it to you as I speak. Um, then um, I set up the, the phone and I have this right here and I like to make it as close as possible 
So I'm going to make it close and I try to make sure I don't lose the quality of the video. Um, and if I, sometimes it just gets like a little bit lighter, like there's this tint change that happens when you get too close. So I think I'm close enough right here um, and I can always make it a little closer during editing, um, but right now I don't wanna lose that color. I don't know if you could tell how when I got it closer, it got a little lighter and then now it just got a little bit darker, a little bit better color. So I'm gonna leave it right there. And then now I am going to, um, the oil's hot. So I'm going to make sure that I protect my equipment, my phone, um, you know, everything around me and myself by making sure I have my cover to my pot. Now this angle is my first angle. I'm gonna start frying it here. And I'm gonna make sure that I remember that my arm is going to be in the way, like my arm is gonna be coming in. So I want it to be aesthetically pleasing. There you go. And then I continue on around, making it into a circle. And this is not gonna fit all of my food, but at least it started the first part of it. And it's not too bad right now. It is a little bit, <laughs> it is a little bit. So I'm, I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna, okay, I'll make sure. And I'm gonna cover it just to make sure that I'm not in harm's way. And then that's it. So I'm gonna let it cook. And what I'd like to do is I like to shut it off so that later on when I come to it, I move this to the other side and I have another angle. And again, um, I'm gonna show this to you. So I have now this other angle and it, sometimes I like to also check um, the video as I'm doing it just to make sure that the quality is good and that I don't have to redo anything in this case I still have a couple more so if for any reason this goes wrong I can reshoot uh, with the rest that I have left over So now I'm coming back in and I'm adjusting Myself so that I get a good shot from this angle. I lost my mic on my camera a so I'm coming over now over voiceover but here I'm still on the left I'm gonna remove the lid with my hand to the right and there's my beautiful pork chops I am about to turn them over one by one slowly so that people get to see the beautiful pork chops and the color that they're getting one by one and I can speed it up later and things happen like what's gonna happen right now with this pork chop where I'm turning it over and boop it fell and that doesn't matter because later I can just turn over two and then that's it then skip over to both of them being turned over uh, now I'm gonna take the camera or the phone and I'm gonna take it to the other side of the pan so that I have a different angle I'm ready. I'm going to take this off this way, right? And I'm going to take the first piece out. Woo! You see? This is what I need. This is another piece out, right? And then I'm going to move this over and I'm going to put it right here. And I'm going to take this other piece out and it's recording and it looks absolutely gorgeous. The lighting is really, really good. And I'm going to put it right here. And it's just beautiful. I love it. Now Okay guys, so it's on a plate right now. I'm gonna take it outside and then I'm going to probably do a voiceover um, just to kind of show you guys what it is that I do um, outside. But that's where I like to take my pictures and my video because it has beautiful lighting. Uh, right now the sun's going down. Um, and of course, like I said, this is gonna be our dinner. So I like to make sure that this is, um, you know, something that we're gonna eat right away. So now I'm taking you outside. And uh, pardon the mess, we just put on a new grill and it's a little crazy in the backyard and we have to clean it all up. As you see, I'm fighting with a fly because you know how it is whenever you wanna take a good picture, something has to come in the way. <laughs> so I'm fighting with the fly. I'm trying to take different angles of this uh, pork with my camera. Of course, you can do it with your phone because 
nowadays phones are like cameras and I'm making sure I get different angles so I can use it for let's say YouTube thumbnails IG Pinterest everything like that now I also like to have sometimes a different setting a different setup so in this case I called my husband to help me out because he's home so I served one pork chop with rice and beans and I'm gonna have him cut into it while I video and record and there's a bit of a boo-boo here because the plate does lift but you know that's life and it happens in real life so that's staying there and he's gonna do it quite slowly because I can speed it up when I'm doing editing and then I at the same time I'm taking pictures and that saves a lot of time for me so there I am I'm just taking pictures directing my husband uh, poor guy you know sometimes he doesn't like it very much but for the most part he he just goes with the flow